Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another review. And I know what some of you are thinking, Paul, are you dirty sellout to yet another review? Uh, and the answer is yes, another review. I, uh, I am only reviewing things that I think are valuable or cool. Uh, and this is both of those things. Uh, this is an LED strip connected to a PIR sensor. It's like super cheap. It's £15 on Amazon right now. And the idea is that uh, you would install it under your bed um, so that when you get up in the night, the PIR sensor will see the movement and it will light your way to the bathroom. Uh, or you might install it under your child's cot so that when you walk in the room, it lights up under the cot. Uh, or maybe stick it in a cupboard so that when you open the cupboard doors, it will light up whatever's in your cupboard. And then again, it'll automatically switch off a minute later once the cupboard doors are closed. Uh, so how does this product do? Let's find out. So not every home automation device needs to be super smart and not every home automation device needs to be um, powered by Alexa. This is a very simple device which is basically going to illuminate my feet in the night. Uh, pretty though that image might sound, that's quite a useful thing to have I think. Um, and these are really cheap, these are awesomely priced and I can't believe no one has thought of this before. Um, perhaps these have been around for like 20 years and I've just not realised it. Choose Minga LED strip, choose your best party friend. Thanks party friend. Lasting bright, save money, energy saving, eye protection. Eye protection seems to be a huge thing with all the devices I've been sent recently. Show you the back, there's a QR code. Uh, scan that, that's the future. Um, so yeah, eye protection seems to be a big thing in China and Singapore and those sorts of places at the moment because everything I get sent seems to have uh, touted on the box the brilliance of the eye protection. Yeah, work for bedroom, baby, bed, restroom, passage, closet. True, I'm sure it does. So there's a PIR motion sensor like you'd get with a house alarm. Comes obviously with a, an English adapter if you're in the UK, which I am. Uh, this looks like the PIR sensor. A couple little screw holes. Uh, also with an adhesive pad. So I can stick that to the underside of my bed. What else we got? LED strip. So it's as simple as that. This LED strip I imagine has, yeah, it's got 3M tape on the back of it. So that would just stick to the underside of my bed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an empty box. Okay, so welcome to my boudoir. We've got uh, some nice Dunelm flowery lights there. Got the old Philips Hue lamps that you can't buy anymore. Either side of the bed. I think they were the best design they had as well, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, LED light, light behind the bed. Get an old projector. Something really mushy that I made for uh, Nisha for Christmas one year. Uh, that's me with a music note behind me when I had my hair. <laughs> and, uh, that's Nisha with um, an easel behind her. Because uh, I bring music and she brings art. Uh, some cool lights also from Dunelm. Can't see those very well, they're very glittery. Uh, projector screen at the end of the bed. The best surround sound system in the universe. I really wish you could still buy this. These have got the most amazing speakers. This is uh, Logitech ZX550, I think, or something like that. With this enormous subwoofer, which Nisha bashes herself on regularly as she comes around the corner. Um, so, under the bed is where we're going to be installing this strip light. It's going to go down there. Uh, and it should, whenever it sees my feet, switch the lights on. And if it works well, I might stick one down the other side of the bed for Nisha as well. Uh, we just need to make sure it doesn't wake each other up in the night, I suppose, first of all. Okay, so that does look awesome. But well, I've got to show you. Just over here. You can see it's already going to peel down because of the weight of it and I guarantee that as this thing gets warm over the space of the next six months it's just going to keep drooping and drooping and drooping until the whole thing comes down. So I think you, if you buy one of these things, although the glue is as good as the glue is ever going to be, uh, you're still going to need to tack it in place because gravity. Because gravity, ladies and gentlemen. So I think that's a reasonable representation of the light in the room at the moment. So I'm going to have a, a quick walk in front of the sensor and see what it looks like on camera. Yeah, that's a, a reasonable representation of the colours as well, I think. So 
it perhaps looks a little bit more creamy um, it's definitely not quite so shiny on the carpet uh, in real life uh, it's not reflecting all over the place um, it is probably the right light levels for you to get up and go to the toilet in the night without waking your partner up I would think it's not certainly not shining any more light than it would do if I opened this door uh, and the light shone in from the hallway and you can see there just how long it lasts it doesn't last very long at all it probably lasts the perfect amount of time really you wouldn't want it to stay on much longer than that because you'd be annoyed when you go back from the bathroom that the light was still on okay so there's now plenty of light in this room that's uh, perfect daylight and the sensor is ignoring me so it's doing what it's designed to do so this is a really cool product i'm very pleased with this the question is, do I recommend this product? And the answer is yes and no. <laughs> there is a caveat as usual. Uh, this particular product looks brilliant. Uh, the PIR sensor on it is amazing for such a cheap amount of money. Um, it detects light and so therefore doesn't come on when you don't want it to. Uh, and it does come on when you do want it to. It's uh, brilliant in all of those regards. But the light is too bright in a bedroom. Um, it turns out. So I, I didn't think it would be when I demoed it, when I tested it, uh, but then when I actually put it into practice, Nisha would not stick it. <laughs> she told me, absolutely not, uh, that is not staying in the bedroom. Uh, so it's been moved to the hallway um, where it can light the way at night time to the bathroom, which is a much more sensible place for it anyway. Um, and it turns out it is exactly the right width uh, to put over a, a skirting board, at least in the UK. I don't know if America has bigger skirting boards. Uh, they have bigger everything else, so maybe it's too big for that, but uh, it's absolutely perfect for a UK skirting board. Um, so yes, I recommend this product, but with a caveat. So I have one more final thought on this product. I did recommend earlier it would be good for under a baby's cot, uh, but then I thought, mm, this is an exceptionally cheap product. I don't know how much I trust the power supply. Uh, I wouldn't want you putting this under your baby's cot and then it catching fire. Um, so I have no reason to believe that it would. I need to be fair to the supplier. Um, there's no reason to believe that this product is unsafe. It does have a CE mark on the power supply, uh, but so do a lot of products that come from China. It doesn't necessarily mean it really has been quality tested to that degree. Um, you could always replace the power supply with something that you trusted. Uh, the LED lights themselves aren't gonna be dangerous. Uh, I just don't know how much I can trust the power supply uh, with it being so affordable. Uh, with that in mind, I give this product a firm 8 out of 10. Uh, I think this is an awesome little thing, definitely worth a look, uh, and at £15, you can't go wrong. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more of this guy, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.